Now, direct from Bowen HQ, it's time to lift the roller door on Bowen's Garage. Here's your host, Chris Bowen, right across Australia. Yes, welcome to Bowen HQ. It's great to be here. Episode 6, we made it. What a f***ing... It's been a rough time. It's been nine days since our last video, right? Okay? Roll the punches, girl. Just keep going. Don't freeze on me. I haven't frozen. I'm still recovering mm. from all the digging, from being bogged. I mean, look, I've just stolen the punchline. But um, yes. basically, we've just taken nine days to recover from the fact that um, we almost just had to set up shop permanently um, at a beach that we decided to go down and camp at. Um, but not at the beach. It was just like kind of halfway up the road back. That, so um, true. So true. We thought we were going to have to stay there forever. But... It's not just um, getting bogged that's part of this episode. There's oh. lots of other fun stuff too. Oh, like other humans. Oh, oh, sorry, you're talking about the fun. Oh, sorry, I should listen. I've got to get out of that mindset. Snap out of it. We're in Cairns right now. Um, look, look, we needed a holiday from the holiday uh, because now it's become a way of life and it's quite torturous at times. But anyway, you're right. We did have some, some good times. We went to a garden in Rockhampton. We met some people. We had some guests over we for, for nibbles. That's right. And we made a friend. We didn't film any of that, obviously, because that would have been super weird. Super weird if you just um, started. Yeah, well, I got sick of filming stuff and that's another reason why there was no video for a while. But you can't still, just start filming still, other people's kids. No, we did film stuff. We just needed a we needed a break. And mm. um, with how this first segment goes, you can see why we needed um, a, a Bex and a lie down. And enter stage right. Help has arrived. This is attempt one. Well, with the strap on. Please let it work. Stop. So we've done. I won't. We've, we've done some more digging. And uh, we're now hatching up another car, and some more people have arrived. <laughs> I've done so much digging, my face is as red as a tomato. <laughs> I'm going to need a Bex and a lie down. That was fun. A little bit of me died that day. Um, oh, mate, uh, stuff you. Michael, he is the young bloke that had the winch mm -hmm. that was hooked up to our car. By the snatch strap. Not the strap Not, on. We weren't hatched up to a strap on. 
as you saw. Look, Michael was about 20 and he was there with his uh, girlfriend, right? They were, they were just having a weekend He away. was one of these dudes in such a great way. He's like, you know, when they've got like, they're, they're wearing the singlet, they're muscly. The gear, mm. right? Thank God he, um, but you know what was funny was he, he watched for a fair bit before he came down. Oh, he sure did. He, he watched and then all of a sudden he was like, oh, I think you might need a winch. <laughs> to step in. Um, and I, like, he, he popped into my Facebook inbox uh, about a day later mm. and said, oh, mate, is there any chance you can send me the footage mm. of me retrieving you? Mm. Fire is, I think, like 2005 Toyota Hilux. Mm. Like the crucial moment of the... Yeah, yep. and I'm thinking, no drama, we've got mm. four GoPros, could have used six, mm. probably overkill, you saw one of them fell off. Yep, um, listen to that fact, we've got four GoPros, yep. so what he's about to say next, I would argue that's the fact you need to focus we're, on. We've got a dash cam, uh, and we've got a couple of phones, um, and as you saw, Gillian did some great work filming the car going up the hill, and that's where it stopped. <laughs> I was digging, I was digging, you wonder how bad, bad, mm. I speak, you mm. wonder how bad I felt bad. not filming the moment that we actually were winched out mm. but as you said four gopros mm, mm. and yet not one of them on the outside captured the moment so i think who's to blame who's in charge of gopros when you get bogged you don't think about getting out and turning all the gopros off tell me about it so they all ran out and yet i was held responsible yeah. for missing the money shot and fair enough i'm the journo i'm the reporter yeah. That would have been super awkward if I was actually going back to the newsroom to say no one filmed the moment. But you know what? There were 10 other dudes there staring at us all having a laugh. Oh, yeah. Did they film the moment? No. Don't they love an awkward... Like, they... I was looking after the child. I was digging. Yeah, you were. You were doing a good job. Still not you, over You just it, didn't film it. And you, it plunged you in, into depression. It was yeah, infectious. But... And I caught it. And then we all just went out separate ways inside the van for the, about uh, uh, you know, like two days two or days. something. Yeah. And then there was, was drama with... We just had to make an edit there during the live broadcast. It's amazing. We came yeah. off delay. Yeah. Um, You're but, good uh, with the dump button. I'm good with the dump button mm. and dump points. Mm. Anyway, uh, after that, we, we somewhat recovered. And, well, we um, decided to find some fun where we were mm. in Rockhampton, even though for like three days I thought we were in Gladstone. <laughs> I Hello. kept going, oh, we got to get out and about and see Gladstone. And Chris is like, we're not in Gladstone, yeah. we're in Rockhampton. Yeah, um, yeah, that was a bit problematic. There's, there's some good stuff to do around there. Good free stuff. We went to yes. have a, a look at the botanic gardens, which mm. include lots of free things, including a zoo, which we yeah. didn't film as well. But we um, were enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. know. And monkeys and whatever they were. They don't like cameras. You're camera shy. It was, I think it was a chimpanzee. Whatever. Anyway, check it out because there's some great Japanese gardens. And honestly, if you're in Rocky, it's a fantastic spot. You should definitely head down there. Dad, watch out for that stick. Oh, he's a monster. He's a monster. Watch out. <laughs> he knows, darling. Oh, no. The what? Front wall. Yeah. Good. Damn wall. You raised the damn wall. Henry, what an effort. Whoa. And then you can lie in it. I've come back to try to go to the toilet. And I don't know if you can see it. There's his friend over there. Or it could be a female, I don't know. She's beautiful, or he's beautiful, bit of a green head. This guy. Oh, there's another one over there, under the table. This guy. He's just coming out from underneath the van. God, you can't really see. He's trying to walk through the campsite as I trudged up. Just looking for food, I guess. So I've made it into the van, uh, which is what I wanted to do. Um, better warn Henry and Chris about the three goannas circling, but they've 
I've seen they've knocked over the bin, they've knocked over a chair, and that is why, so our bin is a zip-up bin um, for that very purpose, and it's why you don't leave any food out, because um, anything and everything you want it. <laughs> can I escape back down to the beach? I don't know. I don't think you can hear me. Yeah, and then walk past me. Hi! This one's heavy too. You got, you yeah. got, don't drink it. You got What's to stop drinking. You got to stop drinking it. Deet is poison. Welcome back. Oh. Welcome back. A deet's an authorized um, ingredient in Bushman repellent. I was just telling Chris in the break that really, if he's looking for a new sponsor, I don't know. Still look like an ice it's addict. It's got to be Bushman's. Like, how many weeks ago mm. did we get ravaged, mm. pillaged, by, pillaged, savaged? eaten alive mm. like that is no joke we could have we been are still itching we are oh, absolutely <laughs> i don't know if they're fresh in the middle of like this it's like a dog the <laughs> only thing i haven't done is drag Bushmans... my bum along the ground <laughs> you know what I mean? if bushmans would like to send us a crate mm. or even just like a liquid form where i could just bathe in it mm. like a sort of thing or like a mist tent like a spray okay, tent and far. i could just walk way into it <laughs> just bath in it but you don't drink this it this is good gear don't drink it I or think... inject it uh, yeah COVID. Yeah, uh, no, don't, don't inject Bushman. Disinfectant or whatever no, it is. I can't. 
Now I think something else is biting me. I haven't sprayed today. Not big on caves, as you just saw. Uh, Capricorn oh. caves, they get a little bit... Uh, well, there were bats in there, you lots of micro bats. Surprised. The guy had a lot of facts about oh. the bats and yeah. about their poo. Apparently everything we're walking on is bat poo. It's all compacted over many, many a year. That was pretty gross. And the, 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 like really he, he showed us where the bats were, but mm. you can't really shine a lot on them. Because they imagine go crazy, it's, <laughs> like Batman. Yeah, so it's just this mysterious like black patch. That's whistling all the time. It was like really noise. high pitched. Anyway, yeah. it's really, I was quite scared. What are you? Uh, yeah, during all of it. But uh, what I'm not scared of is hitting the tools from time to time, as you know, and I like to, mm. you know, get around and fix well, stuff. Well, we've seen the, in earlier episodes where you've broken stuff. I'm good at, very good at broken stuff, breaking stuff even, mm. um, not grammar. Um, but uh, <laughs> look, what happened was we did obviously a bit of beach driving from time to time at Fraser Island, and uh, we've also, as you saw, <laughs> failed driving up a sand hill. Our Anderson plug at the rear, which is the plug from the car into the caravan to make sure it gets all charged up while we're driving, basically came loose while we were driving and dragged along the road and um, decapitated itself. It just disappeared. It was gone. Well, and it was our first having to fix something yourself that was critical moment. Abs absolutely. It's very exciting. I had no idea what to do. It was just cutting half copper wires everywhere. So we pulled into auto bun and had a crack ourselves. So why did anyway? Yeah, I just filmed it. She actually filmed it. All right, so we've made it to Maryborough, which is not very far from, huh? What is that? Yeah. I don't know. Is that what you needed? Yeah. <laughs> One fifty amp maximum load. That's sort of We've made it to Maryborough, just coming from Rainbow Beach. It's not so far at all, and the Anderson plug. Is that what it's called? Yeah. It's fallen out, and is no more. So what's going on? I'm just going to, um, I don't know, put it back in. And uh, so, you know, just do stuff. Autobahn has lent us some tools, which is nice. And we'll see how we go. I've found a coffee shop conveniently, which is just nearby. And um, we're just going to do our best. Okay, so... So we tore off an Anderson plug. The Anderson plug basically gives the uh, caravan the ability to be charged off the alternator um, and the batteries, which are so, so important. This became separated oh, hang on. on the road somehow. I don't know what happened. Drags on the road fell off. Just replaced it. How good is it? I've used my crimpies. Yep, and, and, and some wonderful person on YouTube. Like, that's the best part of our YouTube. YouTube video. So, yeah. so good. Hi, and everybody. So now we just plug. And what did you think? Did you spray that out with dust or something? Like, why do you think it came out? I think probably because we were on the beach yesterday. Um, there might have been a bit of sand in there because we didn't take Karen. So the plug was exposed. And um, yeah, it just fell out along the way, dragged on the road, knocked that off. It's <laughs> just one moment, Dad. Go back onto the grass immediately. Okay, we're done. Sorry, go that last part again. Karen? I think because we didn't take Karen yesterday and the plug was exposed for the whole day, probably filled up with crap. So the connection wasn't that secure. This has fallen off onto the road at some point and just, you know, ripped the Anderson plug off. Auto band, auto barn, legends, help me out. Let Gave me a couple of wide zippers. Yeah. And here I am. All right, good stuff. Let's get on the road again. I've also had the chance to spend a lot of time around the bush iPad, which is a campfire. Oh, uh, yeah. We love it. Oh. Yeah, but add some overlay. You've done some good vision of some bushfires. I mean, sorry. Bushfires? <laughs> As you can see here, it's just a beautiful fire. Um, slow mo. Slow mo. I've got some yeah. slow mo. It does not look beautiful. Uh, it little is beautiful. Fire yeah, we've called it the people. bush. Uh, did you dub it the bush TV or is that a plug in? What did you say for what? I call it the bush iPad. I've just updated the term. Yeah. To 2022 standards. Right. Um, but uh, Henry. What plug were you trying to get in? Oh, uh, Snow Peak. Oh the yeah. Fire Peak. Yep. Gee, geez, they make some great gear. Snow we've Peak. We've got here. I know. Put a link to the gear that we've got from Snow Peak at the bottom because if people want it, there you go. That's how you find it. Hit it up. Um, anyway, uh, Henry loves his iPad, but we just didn't want to give it to him full time because uh, he'll be stuck to it like glue. But you do bring along another screen, which is a Game Boy. Yeah. Now I'm okay it's with this. It's from my childhood. It's from our generation. Hands up if you've had a Game Boy. 
Oh, so I didn't actually. No, didn't have one. I was no. surprised when we did get one for Christmas, but my sister and I both got one. It was very exciting. Got a Rubik's Cube and that was it? Well, I have kept mine in pretty good condition and I was surprised when we were moving, mm. I found it and um, luckily I hadn't stored it with the batteries in because I was, you know, across that detail 20 years ago. Didn't know that was a drama. Um, so the batteries didn't rot. It still works. New batteries in. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Here's what Henry thinks. Hey, Henry, how you going? Good. You know what? It's hard sometimes on this trip, isn't it? Because we don't have internet. Yeah. Now we all love the internet, probably yeah. too much and we should. We look at screens too much, don't we? Yeah. But what about what mum found for you? What's it called? A Game Boy. Did you know that when we were kids, Game Boys were unbelievable? That was like having the internet back then. Yeah, um, I was uh, like, when I'm playing the Game Boy, like all the level was so hard. Yeah. Like, 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 um, the walking one that was not hard by by when Dad but mm. I, but I. Mario. Thought, yeah. Is that Mario? Yeah. Um, I I never icon. I never win the dice game or the centipede game, but mm. that's okay. I I some I only win win one level and the other level, but I don't win I don't win the next. The third level. So you've got a red Game Boy here. That yeah. was pretty, like back in the day, they were mostly grey. So you're lucky to have a red one. It's the, what do you think of the graphics, the screen? It's a yeah. bit, it's a the, bit dark. The, the one, white. um, the red, the red, red one, red Game Boy, they're so tricky. Mm -hmm. And the, the blue, blue ones are less tricky. Oh, is that official? Can you see that screen properly at like night time or during the day? No. It's not like an iPad, but is it? Can, it's not as good as I can do this. So, um, I'm still a centipede, but that's okay. Oh, centipede. I'll show you how I play it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so always I lose. Yeah. Just I need to push this so many times. Look at that. An original Game Boy. I just need to push this a little more. What are you pushing? Start. Yep, 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 yep. And then I need to do this to yeah. shoot. You're right. So if I guess, like, mm. if I go, if I hit something, I die. Wow. And I need to do this yeah. to move. Look at the quality of those graphics. Oh. It's amazing, isn't it? That was almost, yeah, yeah like, that man is going to kill me. How, so do you I change, need to go. how do you change games? Oh. Like, if you want to put another game on, do you just push a switch or what, what do you do? No. Oh, like cartridges, side. that's right, I forgot. What's this one? Oh, it's a centipede game. Oh, that's Mario. I'll put it in so it... Super Mario Land. Only mum would be able to keep something in this condition for so long. No, no. You've done Can well. You take this out? Yeah, buddy. I'm going to show the video how I do the Mario. Do you need me to open the box? Oh. Nah. John over there. Yeah, um, actually, I can open the box. Um, all, all the, the game wow. box. And we learned how to do that today. Mm. What? I've learned it. Yeah, I've... but you've been screaming out for most of the trip. Um, it's been tricky. Can you open the game? It's been tricky to open do the, the game. Up. I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm always getting this right. Got to put it back in the box. Yeah. Because then, get all dirty and you can't use anything. Yeah, that's right. So, okay, so... So is this your um, favourite game um, or centipede? Oh man, this is the favourite game I love. Really? Okay, so I, I need to push this to start and then that to jump. Yeah. And then I need to go forward, backwards. Is this better than Paw Patrol on the iPad? Oh, I need to get that. Now he's into it. He's sucked in straight away. Yeah, but only if, only if this, I need to jump first and then move at the same time. Yeah. Is this better than Paw Patrol on the iPad? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Course. It's pretty good. But at least you don't need the internet, right? You do need lights. Yeah. It's, it's only got a con. Yeah, only, only if I run into something and I get big, um, um, no, I, I shrink. But yeah, only that's a mushroom. Okay. Yeah, but it's got contrast, but because it's green yeah. and shadows, when the when it's dark, you need a torch. Okay. To play. 
You can't oh, play yeah. it in the dark. Yeah. Those are the days. Well, I can play it in the dark. Last time when I was in the dark, mm. um, all you had the a head torch on. No, last time when I turned that all mm. the way down. Anyway, Henry, we better go for the people at home. How are you enjoying the trip? Just let them all know. Okay, Give them an so, update. So when I put it all the way down, mm. I still know. See, it's the same as your iPad. You just lose them straight away. Well, it's, it's true. I can't tell. You've got to concentrate. Yeah, true. Otherwise true. you get eaten. Ooh. Henry, just, oh. for, just for the people at home who love hearing from you, how's the trip going? Oh, it's good. Like all the thing in trip. What does that mean? Okay. Did you just invent a new urban term? <laughs> All the things. thing is just tripped. All the things are tripped. It's just tripped. Thanks to everyone who's been watching where we've been going so far and commenting. It's been great to have um, the laughs that we've been experiencing and sharing them with you, haven't I? It's been good to know that other people are laughing at us as well. Well, I hope so. I'm happy for you to laugh at us as long as you watch. That all, that's all that matters in this YouTubing game. Well, because if you don't subscribe, we won't survive. That's exactly right. Yes. And next next time, we've got some oh. other good stuff coming up. We've got more four-wheel driving Heaps. where I was brave. Thank yeah, you I mean, were. I, I certainly didn't. I certainly didn't drive, don't get me wrong, but yeah. I was brave. She's getting better. Um, and I broke her in. There's also some um, a really cool farm stay. Oh, wasn't that beautiful? Yeah. Out, of the, out of the blue, I found it on wiki camps. Yeah, so um, you want to going to want to watch that. And also, Henry gets head butted by a goat. At a big four. At a big, big four. four. No animal or him wasn't harmed. It's just a funny video. It is. It's hilarious. And Big Four saved our bacon. They sure did. Well, because you screwed up. I booked it. Don't worry, it's a booking issue, and they saved it. Turns out there's magical spots no one knows about. So I'll give you a hint on all that. Now, just remember, let's say it officially. If, if you, you don't, don't subscribe, subscribe we, we won't, won't survive. survive. I'm Chris Bowen. That is my wife, Gillian Bowen. Thank you for joining me. Normal program will resume right after this. Certainly not Serena Williams. Catch you next week. Good luck. Goodbye. This has been another production from the one and only 